Hi there friends, welcome to Heather's Hippo Yoga. I am Heather and today this practice is going to be yoga for a calm heart and calm mind. So let's get started. So coming to a nice comfortable seat, remembering you can always sit on top of a pillow or a blanket, that way you are elevated and it's easeful. That's what we want, easeful and comfortable. Let your hands rest in your lap. Let your shoulders fall down, soften your face, and tune into your breath. Noticing how it feels. Is it slow and steady? Is it quick and fast? Shallow, deep? What does it feel like? Go ahead, put one hand on your heart and connect with your heartbeat. And bring both hands to heart center, thumbs connected to the sternum, pressing lightly into the palms. Breathe into the back. See if you can feel your heartbeat through your thumbs. And relax the hands. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start by doing a uh, pranayama practice or breath practice. This is called three-part pranayama. You're going to place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. We're just going to start by inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And at first, you're going to fill up the belly with air. Let's just start there. Inhale through the belly. And exhale. Blow all the air out. Inhale through the belly. And exhale, blow the air out. Now, bring to mind a balloon, right? And imagine that balloon is inside your belly. And right now, it's not full of air you're gonna fill it with air. So inhale, bring oxygen into that balloon. See as it expands and grows bigger and fills up the entire space in your belly. And then exhale, blow all that air out and contract the balloon. Inhale, fill up the balloon, expand. And exhale, contract. Beautiful. Now we're going to imagine that there's a balloon in our chest. We're going to do the belly and then the balloon. So inhale, fill up the belly, chest, and exhale the chest and belly. Filling up two different balloons. Inhale into the belly, chest balloon filling, reaching, expanding, and exhale all the air out of the balloon in the chest and belly. Inhale, belly, chest, exhale, chest, and belly. Go ahead, continue for a few moments with that, remembering that you want to make your balloon as big as possible. So in your chest, the balloon expands to your back, your ribs, your whole chest, your armpits, and then when you exhale, you blow out all that air from the chest and the belly. Inhale, belly, chest, Exhale, chest, belly, excellent. The third part is the throat. Imagine that there is a balloon inside your throat as in, and as you inhale, that balloon expands and then contracts. And it fills the whole front side and back of your throat, right? So, inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Inhale, belly, chest, throat. Exhale, throat, chest, belly. Continue at your own pace. Remembering that this deep belly breathing is what lowers our heart rate 
our blood pressure and releases those calming sensations, right? Releases tension and anxiety. Deep belly breath, my friends. It's a game changer. And the next time you exhale, release your hands down. Find that easeful, natural breath. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and move on to tabletop. Um, and always know that you can put a blanket underneath your knees or pillows if you need a little bit more cushion. You're always welcome to do that. We want to protect our joints. So wrists are under the shoulders, knees under the hips, fingers facing forward, reach the crown forward, reach the tailbone back, draw the navel in, press through those hands. And breathe in and out through the nose, filling the belly and chest and throat with air. Then inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and gaze. Exhale, tuck the tail, navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly to cow. Exhale, round the back to cat. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly to cow. Exhale, round the back, cat. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. And go ahead, find any extra movement that feels nourishing to you. Play around a little bit. See what feels good and go for it. And tuck the toes, sit your hips back, arc the back and breathe into the back. Right, imagine there are balloons in your lower back that you're filling up with air. And go ahead, press back into child's pose. Knees wide, toes touching. Release the heart and head. If you need room for your belly, widen the knees more, okay? You can also put a block or pillow under your chest or under your head for support. Breathe into the hips, into the back. Weight can be on your elbows or you can stretch your hands forward. I like to put mine in my elbows. Mm. Breathing here, nice and slow. Maybe rock your forehead side to side and massage where that third eye chakra lives, right in between the brows and just above. Come back up to tabletop. Move those blocks or pillows out of the way. And find that neutral spine fully engaged. Inhale that left arm up and exhale, thread it through. So your weight's gonna be on your left shoulder and the left side of your head. Left arm is under that right shoulder. Right hand can stay under your shoulder or Reach forward, whatever you're most comfortable with. Try and lengthen through that spine, breathe into the twist. It's a little awkward, I know, but it's so good for you. Close your eyes. And press back up to tabletop. Inhale that right arm up and exhale, thread the needle. 
right side of the head on the floor, right shoulder on the floor. Keep the breath going. And come back up to tabletop and shift forward onto your belly. Moving your boobs out of the way if you need to. And you want to put your hands right next to your chest. We're going to do a little baby cobra. Press into the tops of the feet, engage those legs, draw the navel in, and inhale, lift the gaze. And it's more important to reach the crown of your head forward than to lift it up, right? And our hands aren't doing the work. They're just chilling. We're working those postural muscles. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring your forehead to your hands. Let your heels fall out. Toes in. Release your glute muscles. And breathe. And bring that balloon to mind and it resides within your lower back. So breathe into that lower back space. Bring those hands back under your shoulders, tuck your toes, come on up to tabletop, and press back into down dog. Make sure the fingers are facing front, tuck the toes, lift the hips, press through those hands, sending the weight back, bend those knees. It's more important that your tailbone goes up than your heels touching that mat. I want to make sure we don't have a rounded back, but it's a lengthened back. Make sure there's space between the shoulders and the ears, and walk that dog, bending one knee at a time. Feeling the stretch of the back leg. Keep the breath going, don't hold it. <sighs> Come to stillness. And inhale, walk those feet up. Forward fold. And bend those knees. Let your torso drape over the thighs. Right? So we're not worried about the stretch of the back leg right now. We're worried about the decompressing of the spine. Let the head hang and the shoulders hang. And gently use your hands to walk up your legs to come up to stand. Ooh, nice and slow. And willow tree it out. Oh, just kind of let your arms just kind of smack you. For some reason I find this very comforting. <laughs> Make of that what you will. And let's find that Tadasana, that mountain pose. Feet fully rooted into the floor. Engage the legs so those kneecaps lift up just a little bit. Tuck the tailbone, navel drawn in, chest is wide, palms face front. And we're going to engage Mahaband, all three locks. Squeeze the root lock, those bathroom muscles, squeeze them, draw them in and up into your navel, draw the navel into your spine. Slightly tuck the chin, fully engage. This is a very active pose. Very strong mountain pose. If someone, were to, if someone were to come and try to push you over, you wouldn't budge. You're so steady, strong, and rooted and grounded. And inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Remember, hands can always go to blocks. Inhale, half lift. 
reach the crown forward and the tailbone back. If you need to widen your feet to make room for your belly, have at it, loves. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to Tadasana. Inhale the arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana. Last one. Big breath. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Standing here in Tadasana, but with your hands at heart center, this is Samastitihi, or pose of stillness. Close your eyes, press into the palms of your hands, connect the thumbs to the sternum, be in this moment. to your hips and inhale step that right foot back to a nice high lunge if you want to have a chair nearby or you have a wall to kind of help you balance use it no stress make sure the knee is over the ankle back heel is reaching you want to feel the stretch of that front leg draw the navel in and widen the chest feel the stretch also feel the strength your legs are a lot stronger than you think and inhale, sweep those arms up to a nice wide V. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Beautiful. Your torso is facing the right. Your arms are reaching out in a T. Front knee is moving out to protect the joint. The booty's tucked under, navel's drawn in. Gaze is on that middle finger. Warrior two, breathe and soften your face. This is strong, grounded, warrior pose. Inhale, tip back, reverse that warrior. Left arm goes up, gaze goes up, right hand reaches down. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, warrior, reverse it. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful. And bring those hands to your hips. Flip that back heel up off the mat. Keep that navel in. Inhale, step up. Relax. Switching to the opposite side. You can stay where you're at, but I'm going to shift over here. Hands on the hips, sitting up nice and tall, keep that navel in. Inhale that left foot back, nice high lunge. Knee over the ankle, back heel reaching all the way up tall. Feel the strength here. Feel the stability and the power. And inhale, swoop those arms up, nice wide V. Inhale, exhale, open up warrior two. That right knee is moving out, really bend it here in the front, reach the fingertips. Everything is tucked in, drawn up. Gaze on the middle finger, reach those fingertips. You are strong, you are capable. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, warrior two. The leg stays bent. Inhale, reverse. 
and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips. Flip that back heel up. And you're using the wall to help you here. And step on up. Relax. Take a second. Make sure your face isn't tight or tense. Soften. And let's do a little true pose. So, hands on the hips. Fully rooted into the, into the ground, right? Four corners of the feet completely connected. Tailbone's tucked, navel in. Everything's kind of drawn in and zipped up. That's how we're gonna balance. So hands on the hips, find your drishti or your gaze, that focal point. Inhale, shift the weight over to the right, pick up that left knee, take it out to the side and attach it to the leg either above or below the knee, not on the knee. Bring your hands to heart center. Press into that bottom foot, reach the crown up. Breathe. And if you feel comfortable, extend those arms up. Rise, raise those branches, lift them up, lift the corners of your mouth, and lift your gaze. And lower your hands, and lower the foot. Shake out the leg. And if you noticed, you could see the little wobbly in my ankle there. That means magic's happening, right? All those stabilizer muscles are firing and working and strengthening. That's what we want. So, once more for the other side. Find that focal point, that gaze, that drishti. Inhale, shift over to the left. Pick up that right knee. Take it out to the side and attach it above or below the knee. Everything zipped in, up. Hands to heart center. And maybe lift those tree branches. Lift the gaze and lift the corner of the mouth. Lower the hands, lower the foot, shake it out. Nice job. All right, come to a nice wide leg stance, heels up, toes in, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, hinge forward to a flat back. Reach the crown forward, reach the tailbone back. If you need to bend your knees, go for that. Breathe and release your hands down to the floor, underneath the shoulders. If you can't touch the floor, just bring your hands to the props. That's totally fine. And what you wanna do is shift your weight forward onto the balls of your feet and shift back to your heels. Shift to the ball, shift to the heel. Send that tailbone up, right? You wanna feel that stretch up the back leg, up the knees. Keep breathing and go ahead, fully release if you can. Let your head hang, shoulders hang. Really decompress that spine. You wanna create space. Maybe leave your hands on the floor or grab your elbows. Breathe. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. 
Release the hands and gently walk the hands up the legs to come up to stand. Excellent, that's one of my favorite stretches. Okay, uh, next we're gonna do a yogi squat or Buddha squat. And this can be a little challenging, so I'm gonna walk you through it. So your heels can be in, toes are out, and you might have to adjust the width of your feet depending on where you are. You can keep a block nearby, and if you're near a wall, you can use that to kind of lean back against. So let me show you it first. So you're gonna send the tailbone down. I'm adjusting my feet just a little bit. There we go. You're gonna sink your tailbone down, elbows press the knees out, hands come to the heart center. And I'm lengthened through the spine. I'm not here, not here, but lengthened, okay? A block can go under your tailbone if you need support. You can also lean a little bit back against the wall if you need it. Breathe here. <sighs> Try and relax in the hips, relax in the thighs. <sighs> this is how we used to eat and sit before there were chairs and tables. <laughs> this is so good for digestion, lowering the blood pressure. Oh, it's just, it's wonderful, guys. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's a challenge, something to practice. But once you get it, it is so soothing, calming. <sighs> so good. Okay, go ahead, release. Gently come out of this using your hands. Taking your time and coming into child's pose. Knees wide, toes touching. Whew, I found it a little Canadian there, toes. <laughs> and release that heart and head. And as always, you can use pillows or blankets here, under your chest, under your head. Breathe, close the eyes. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale, give me an audible sigh. And I apologize for all the extra noise. I live in New York City, so there's lots of noise everywhere all day, all the time. <laughs> and I have my windows open just because it's a little warm. And go ahead, walk yourself up. And let's switch over onto our bum. Now for this, remember, you can always sit on a pillow or a folded up blanket. I'm just gonna stay put here today. And you wanna move your flesh out of the way, right? You wanna be right on top of those sits bones. <sighs> okay, so legs are straight out in front of me. If you need to widen your feet a little bit, like a little mini V, so there's space for your tummy, do it, go for it. It's grand. <sighs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, reach the crown up. Exhale, walk our fingers forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk the fingers forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Now your hands can be wherever is comfortable. Shins, ankles, bunny fingers around the big toes, or you can have you know, the heels of your hands on the backs of your toes with your fingers on the arcs of your feet. For this, I would recommend the bunny ears. And wherever your hands are, you're gonna inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And remember, your hands can be anywhere that's comfortable. And the width is totally fine, right? So even if you're going, that's okay too. Just 
keep moving. This is called the life nerve stretch. Helps lower blood pressure. Activates the parasympathetic nervous system. Releasing stress, anxiety. And go ahead, gently come up. Just sit up nice and tall. Bounce the knees a little bit. Circle the ankles and the wrists. Wiggle the fingers and toes. Open and close them. And go ahead, come to lay down on your back. Draw your knees into your chest. And they can be nice and wide to make room for the belly. Or close together. Hands can be wherever is comfortable, right? Make it work for you. Relax your lower back into the floor. Relax your shoulders completely into the earth. Close your eyes. Breathe here. Maybe make circles with your knees. Massage that lower back. Reverse directions. And move into your Shavasana. Corpse pose. So traditionally, traditionally spent with your feet spread wide, hands wide, palms up. But do what works for you. So if you want to lay down on a, your side or lay down on your belly, you can lay down on your back with your feet up the wall. There is no right or wrong. You could also go lay down on a couch, lay down on a bed. You do you. Who cares what anybody else thinks? This practice is about you and calming the, your mind, calming your heart, and finding what that means for you, what that looks like for you and your body. So resting in your Shavasana pose, fully laid out on your back or your side or your belly. Just get comfy. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale, audible sigh. Ha. Inhale. Exhale. Ha. One more. Inhale. Exhale. There's nothing left for you to do right now but rest in Shavasana. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Hopefully I'll see you again on the mat soon. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with friends. Love to you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy your Shavasana and Namaste.